The River Ely flows from the foothills to the north of Llantrisant, through St Fagans, Ely and down to Cardiff Bay and then the Severn Estuary. The river passes under Cowbridge Road West under the A48 bridge. There's been a history of flooding in this area. In September 2008, some 27 properties were inundated. At its peak in 2008, river flows would fill an Olympic swimming pool every 20 seconds. More recently, properties flooded in 2011, 2012 and 2020. Widespread flooding is recorded as far as Victoria Park in 1927 and 1960. The A48 bridge is prone to blockages caused by debris getting trapped on the bridge pier in the middle of the river. Blockages reduced the capacity of the bridge and significantly increased flood risk to properties and were contributors to the recent flooding. Debris accumulation cannot be safely removed at times of high flow. Following a series of technical studies, Natural Resources Wales found hundreds of homes and businesses are at risk of flooding if river levels overtop the Cowbridge Road Ely River Bridge. Natural Resources Wales proposes works to reduce the risk of flooding in the areas of Ely and Fairwater. Our recent studies have shown that flood risk increases significantly when Cowbridge Road Bridge over the River Ely is partially blocked with debris, particularly trees and other large objects. Let's take a closer look. The bridge is particularly sensitive to blockages because of its skewed central pier and low clearance above the river. The photo here shows evidence of blockage at the bridge following the flooding in 2008. Blockages reduce the capacity of the bridge. Furthermore, there is currently no safe way for our operatives to remove large blockages, particularly at times of high river flows. As river levels rise, the low underside of the bridge traps debris below the water level, reducing the capacity for water to flow under the bridge. If the bridge is kept clear, more water is able to pass beneath and downstream, reducing the risk of flooding to the surrounding area. Currently, a 1 in 30 annual chance event with partial blockage at Ely Bridge leads to flooding of around 40 properties in the immediate vicinity. A 1 in 100 annual chance event with partial blockage at Ely Bridge leads to flooding of up to 500 properties across a wide area. Let's take a look from upstream. Since the flooding that occurred in 2008, Natural Resources Wales has undertaken several studies to comprehensively assess the case for flood risk management in the area. This has included the appraisal of options to slow the flow upstream, containing flood levels with various forms of raised defences, measures to convey flooding through channel widening, and property flood resilience measures. As part of the Ely Mill development, river channel widening and removal of the remnants of the R.O. Wiggins Weir were completed by the developer in 2017 which reduced the existing upstream flood risk. However, other measures appraised were found to be uneconomical and the blockage risk to Ely Bridge remains. Natural Resources Wales proposes to construct a tree catcher upstream of Rotten Place to catch trees and other large debris before it reaches Ely Bridge. This location was selected because of its proximity to the bridge, the existing access from the highway and to avoid the Ely Wells abstraction wells located in the riverside embankment further upstream. We're also undertaking works to improve the river access at Ely Bridge should maintenance be required there too. Let's take a closer look at the tree catcher site. The proposal consists of seven poles in a staggered arrangement across the river, spaced widely to target large debris that would otherwise be trapped at the bridge. An access ramp and processing area will also be constructed to make it easier for our operatives to remove the blockages and cut them up for disposal. The build-up of debris will be actively monitored using a CCTV camera. The site will be secured with fencing and planting will screen the site from the adjacent foot and cycle path. During times of high river flow, large floating debris will be trapped by the poles. By trapping debris at a safe location upstream of Ely Bridge, the risk of flooding is reduced. With the tree catcher in place and debris caught upstream of the bridge, no properties are flooded during a 1 in 30 annual chance event. This is compared with 40 properties flooded in the same event without the tree catcher. Furthermore, with the tree catcher in place, 490 fewer properties are flooded during a 1 in 100 annual chance event. As water levels rise during a flood event, debris trapped by the poles will float on the water surface, allowing water to pass beneath and continue downstream. Unlike at Ely Bridge, 
the debris caught at the tree catcher will be able to keep rising with the river level, allowing water to continue to pass beneath. Once river levels have subsided, the improved access will allow our officers to enter the channel and remove large debris before processing it for disposal. The buildup of debris will be monitored using a CCTV camera. Whenever possible, debris will be proactively removed ahead of forecast high river flows. Let's take a final look at the difference in the 1 in 100 annual chance event with blockage at Ely Bridge versus an upstream containment at the tree catcher. This is the existing situation with blockage at Ely Bridge. 495 properties are anticipated to experience flooding. This is the proposed scenario with the tree catcher. Five properties are anticipated to experience flooding, 490 fewer properties than at present. Thank you for watching. Feel free to get in touch with us via the project email address, through general inquiries or on social media.